Would you like to know how to make one of these? They're called audiograms and they're brilliant for promoting your podcast. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. Hey, it's Philip Head, the Curly Marketer. You're very welcome to today's Curly Marketer Tip Social Bite Size Tip. We're talking about audiograms. And what are these? Well, they're very clever animated videos, especially if you have a podcast, you can create this animated video where it actually shows an animated wave line. Uh, which goes and corresponds with the piece of audio that you've uploaded. So how do you create them? Well, I've come across a fantastic tool service called Headliner App. And I'm gonna show you very quickly now how you can create an audiogram so you can start promoting your podcast, or even if you've turned your blog into an audio format, this is the perfect solution for you. So stay tuned. To create your audiogram, you're gonna be using a service called Headliner App. This is the website up here. Log in or in this case, you obviously create an account, but it's obviously have an account set up. And when you first log in, this is the screen that you're gonna see. Now there's a number of different uh, tools here. I'll let you go through those yourself. Um, for the purposes, I'm gonna show you how to create the audiogram. So you go to audiogram wizard, you click. Here you have two options. If you have a, a podcast currently, you, you can go and search for it here and it will bring up your podcast and all of the episodes and you can choose which episode you want to make the audiogram from. But say for example that you just are working with audio files um, and you want to turn them into um, audiograms. Let's say for example you turned your blog post where you recorded your voice talking through the blog post because you wanted to share an audiogram just of your blog. Go and search for your mp3 file. So let's go and choose file. Now here I'm going to choose obviously episode 18 of the Let's Get Social Show podcast um, and this is the, the new episode that I've recorded with uh, Emer Duffy, my co-host from Fit Social Media, um, with Mariana Kane, uh, who's a wonderful website designer here in Ireland. So if you haven't uh, come across the Let's Get Social Show podcast, check it out on Podbean, iTunes and Stitcher where we share social media tips and tricks in an informal and relaxed style. So I think you'd enjoy it. Now when you've uploaded your MP3, um, you're brought to the audio editing area where you choose the piece of audio that you want to turn uh, and use for your audiogram. And this blue shaded box here is essentially, that is the time element of the piece of audio that's going to be chosen. Now, just a piece of advice here, this clip is currently set for a duration of a minute, which would be perfect for sharing um, a piece of video such as this would be uh, on Instagram. But I've noticed sometimes that Instagram tends to maybe not recognize even though I've set the clip for a minute it doesn't recognize it so just to kind of be mindful of that and I tend to now just kind of maybe set it for maybe 58 and a half seconds etc and that tends to work perfectly but basically what I would suggest you do is, is go through your audio here select a piece of audio that uh, is a really excellent piece of the show maybe it could be a piece of advice or a tip that your you or your guest is giving and choose that for your audiogram because that would be the piece that whets your listeners ears um, so that then they might say i want to listen to the full episode and go to wherever your podcast or piece of audio is so once you've chosen your piece of audio click next you're then presented with the aspect ratio. How is your audiogram going to be actually shown online? Now you've got three different sizes. Obviously this size would be from where your Instagram stories, Snapchat and TikTok. This one is probably the best size to use because it's very much kind of for all of the major channels like Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And then if you want to start putting your podcast as an audio file on YouTube, which is becoming more popular, this would be the size that you would go with. But I tend to go with the square, so let's go with that. Now, now here's where you get to actually customize how your audiogram is going to look before you post it. And I always like to create a promotional image for the podcast. So here's one that I created, obviously, for myself and Emer, who's my co-host when we were interviewing Mariana, um, created this in Canva. So I'm just going to bring that in. And uh, you'll see here that it sort of has given me an initial kind of preview um, of where the, the waveform is. But if I want to change where this is positioned, how this waveform looks, just click the X here and go into waveform. And here now I have all the options as to what I want to do. If I want a more chunky looking waveform, I can do that. If I want to go with say something kind of interesting like dots or maybe a, like an equalizer, you can do all this and I can move this around to wherever I want. 
and um, I can change the color. You know, if I want to go different colors, if you want to go green, um, but maybe maybe white would look good. Now I do like the black, and my favorite tends to be this one. It's uh, it's works perfectly. So once you have selected your waveform, your color, your positioning, you're good to go. So you can just click X. Now, because I create obviously the images in Canva, I don't need to put any more text on. But if you choose, you can put extra text on here using this text function. You can essentially create everything that you want within here. But I, as I said, like to kind of keep the branding on, um, on, on point. So I'm happy how that looks. Um, I'm going to just move. Uh, Back to my waveform to see it moves slightly out of position there, so I'm just going to move that there. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to create that project now. It takes a little bit of while just while it's processing, uh, so just we'll, uh, we'll hang on. Okay, so you just need to give yourself a little bit of patience, and then you're brought to. Um, yeah, I suppose what is is effectively like a little editing video editing suite. You know, as you can see, it's showing me my audio at the moment. We have the audio position on the bottom, and if you wanted, you could add um, you could add a track and add in some extra media. So if you had maybe you wanted to add in some um, other graphics into your your piece here, uh, additional text, you can do it all right here. But because once again I've created everything in Canva. I'm really only interested in getting the waveform and the audio onto this. So I'm happy with how that looks. So I now go export. And here is the, the final kind of element really. Um, here's where you're going to choose your frame rate. Um, you've got 15, 24, 25, 30. I tend to, because of Ireland, I tend to choose 25. So I know other countries it would be probably more beneficial to choose 30. So just kind of choose the correct frame rate for your country. Um, video quality high I'm obviously going with a square and um, uh, it also has my email address here linked to the account which is great and um, because what it will do is it not only will email and email me a notification that the headliner app um, audiogram is ready there is also a headliner app that you can download on your mobile and start to create audiograms direct from your mobile so this is a really slick service and definitely you should be checking it out so I'm happy let's go export my video and you'll see a little status bar up here. Obviously, there you go. Just as I mentioned, there is the headline app, both on iPhone and Android, so very clever indeed. Just a little bit of time here, so you'd keep this tab open. Don't close out of the screen because you'll lose your recording. So uh, um, you'll just hang on. It's processing pretty quickly here, so uh, just bear with it. So video is now ready. You can see here it's telling me video is ready, so I can just go download. And here is my final area. I can download the video, which would be what I would always tend to do. But if you wanted, you can share it directly from um, from this screen to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So that's how you create an audiogram. I hope you found this curly marketer tip useful. And I'll see you again soon for some more tips in relation to social media. Take care. So I hope you found today's curly marketer tip social bite size tip useful. The headliner app is really fantastic and it's one that I use when I'm promoting the, uh, the podcast and the radio show that I'm part of, uh, co-hosted with my good friend Emer Duffy called The Let's Get Social Show. And we use um, the headliner app to create audiograms for our new episodes and send them out through social media. If you start to explore the headliner app, you'll see there's a whole host of different functions that you can use. And it's definitely fantastic because for free, you get 10 audiograms a month. And certainly if you're producing one, one podcast a week, this is a perfect solution for you. Now, one of my other popular videos that you may want to be reviewing is uh, this one. If you want to go Facebook Live in Landscape on iPhone, I have an iPhone success. So if you have an iPhone success, you've been struggling to go Facebook Live in Landscape, definitely check out this video. And I'll see you again soon for some more curly marketer tip and social bite-sized tips for social media. Take care.